Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also use Word to create mail merge envelope addresses. You simply need to create an envelope merge document and place the merge fields into that merge envelope document. You can even add postal barcodes which allow for computerized sorting by address at the post office. To set up your envelopes for merging, choose Tools and Mail Merge from the menu bar. This will launch the Mail Merge Helper. It's broken down into three sections that you need to step through in order to successfully merge your envelopes with your data source. Notice the first step is to create a main document. So here, click the Create button and select the Envelopes choice from the drop-down menu that appears. Here, choose the Active Window or click Create New Main Window to decide whether you want to use the background uh, page as your actual envelope or whether you'd like to make them in a new main document. So really, just click whichever one you prefer. For step two, click Get Data and let's choose Open Data Source. Let's say that we wanted to use an Excel data source. When you choose Open Data Source in 97 or 2000, by default, Files of Type at the bottom is set to look for all Word documents. If you'd prefer to use another data source, click that drop-down and select the type of data source to look for. So in this case, MS Excel Worksheets. Then you would choose the name of the workbook to use and click Open. It'll open up Microsoft Excel and it will then show the range of possible addresses within that spreadsheet from which we could merge. Usually you'll just select the entire spreadsheet from the little pop-up window. So here we'll just click OK and then click Set Up Main Document to continue. In the Envelope Options dialog box Make sure you're on the Envelope Options tab, and here you can choose the size of the envelope which you're going to be sending out. Down below you could choose for the delivery address and the return address the font for each by clicking the font button in the appropriate section and making sure that you have the right size and color font that you would like to use. On the Printing Options tab of the Envelope Options dialog box, you can choose the method used to feed the envelopes into the selected printer and whether they need to go in face up or face down. Click OK when you're set to then move to the Envelope Address dialog box. Here's where we insert the merge fields for our envelopes. To do this, simply click Insert Merge Field and choose the merge fields you would like to insert putting in the appropriate spacing and punctuation as needed. Also note, if you'd like to insert a postal barcode, you can click at the beginning of the address and click Insert Postal Barcode at the top. In the Insert Postal Barcode drop-down, Choose the field that has your zip code information for the first drop-down, and then choose from the second drop-down the field in your data source that has the street address. Then click OK, and it'll print a delivery point barcode at the top of your envelopes. Click OK to return to the Mail Merge Helper. Now we're ready to actually merge our envelope with the data. To do that, just click the Merge button in the Merge the Data with the Document section of the Mail Merge Helper. In the drop-down menu under Merge To in the Merge dialog box, choose New Document to merge the results to a new document in Word. Then just click the Merge button and you'll see the merged envelopes appear as a new document which you can edit if needed. So notice that in this example, we forgot to put in our return address in the upper left corner of each envelope. So we would probably close that particular output, go back to the original merge envelope, and input your return address.
When it looks correct, once again, you could repeat the process by clicking the Merge button on the Mail Merge toolbar this time, merging it to a new document, and then clicking Merge again. Notice that this time, the information that we just added has been shown in every single one of the envelopes. Now after making any little changes we want to, to print this new document, just simply click Print and then put your envelopes into the selected printer. We tend to not save the output documents that we create. It's really only important to save the merge document, the one with the chevrons in it, so that you can merge envelopes in the future from the same data source. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.